Hello everyone, this is Teacher V and welcome here on my channel. Gumagawa si Teacher V ng mga videos na makakatulong sa inyo para mas madali ninyong maintindihan ang mga lessons ninyo sa mathematics. At laging tandaan, mahalin natin ang mathematics para mahalin din niya tayo. Don't forget to like this video and share this to others. Pero bago tayo mag-start, I have a question for everyone. Since ang gagamitin kasi natin ngayon sa lesson natin today is calculator. Yes, calculator. So, pakihanda na yung mga scientific calculator ninyo sa tabi ninyo kasi yun ang pinaka-device na gagamitin natin sa video lesson natin na to. Ngayon, bago tayo mag-start, I just want you to answer this question. If you are to invent one device, what would it be? And then why? So, comment down below para malaman ko rin naman kung ano yung mga nasa isip ninyo. Baka malay nyo, may isa sa inyo dito na nanonood ay maging inventor balang araw. Right? Okay, so once done, let's get started. Ang lesson natin for today, quarter 4 na tayo, it's about right triangles. Solving right triangles, we're in given yung length ng ating hypotenuse at saka yung length ng ating one leg. Okay. Again, given yung length ng hypotenuse and yung one leg. And as I've said earlier, gagamitin natin dito yung scientific calculator. Hindi tayo makakapag-solve dito ng walang scientific calculator. But don't worry, if wala kang scientific calculator, maglalagay ako sa description box ng link kung saan pwede kang download sa computer mo ng scientific calculator. Para naman... Kahit wala kang calculator, pag na-download mo yun, pwede mo nang gamitin yun sa inyong mga computer. At alam ko sa Google Play Store, meron ding na-download na scientific calculator. So, explore, explore nyo lang. Now, once na meron na kayong scientific calculator sa so tabi niyo simula na natin yung lesson natin for today. Ang ating learning targets or objectives for this video is to solve right triangles given the length of the hypotenuse and the length of one leg. So, trigonometric ratios for any given angle can be determined using scientific calculators. Also, this can be used to determine an angle given the value of its trigonometric ratio. So, here are the steps to follow. So, mayroon akong ipapakita sa inyo mga steps kung papaanong magagamit natin ang scientific calculator para malaman natin yung trigonometric ratio. And at the same time, if gusto nating mahanap yung given angle ng ating right triangle. So, paano nga ba natin magagamit ang ating mga scientific calculators? Unahin muna natin itong finding the value of the trigonometric ratio given the angle. So, ito yung pinakamadali. Kasi dito, kukunin lang natin yung ratio, then may given na na angle. So, let's say we have find the value of tangent 38 degrees. So, kunin lang natin yung ratio niya or trigonometric ratio niya then gagamit tayo ng scientific calculator kasi kung imamano-mano mo tong tangent 38 degrees na kung mahirapan ka. So, padaliin na lang natin yung buhay natin sa pamagitan ng paggamit ng scientific calculator. So, paano natin makukuha ang value ng tangent 38 degrees? So, gagawin natin is ipapress lang natin sa ating calculator yung tangent Then, yung 38, type natin sa calculator, then equal. And, ayun na, nandun na yung ating trigonometric ratio, o yung value niya. 0.781285627. So, usually talaga, maraming answer yan, or mahaba talaga. Pero, ang general rule kasi dito sa trigonometric ratio, pwede na yung at least 3 decimal places. Or, depende sa teacher ninyo, yung ibang mga teachers... Uh, pwede rin yung 2 decimal places, so it's up to you. Kaya itong 0.781 and so on, i-round off natin ito 3 decimal places. So we can say that tangent 38 degrees is equal to 0.781. Okay? And always remember na bago ka pala mag-solve nitong mga tangent, then yung angle, make sure na yung, yung calculator ay nakadeg or degree yung kanyang function. Now, let's uh, see. Papaano ba yan? Papakita ko sa inyo gamit yung ating calculator. Now, 
Next, papaano naman kung given yung trigonometric ratio, ang hahanapin mo is yung angle naman. Paano naman kaya yung gagawin natin dito? Halimbawa, cosine theta is equal to 0.421, find the theta. So, ang hinahanap naman dito is yung angle. Kanina, may given angle na, tas ito yung kinuha natin, yung ratio. But here, may ratio, pero wala yung ating theta or yung angle. So, paano naman natin ito isusolve? Again, kunin ang inyong scientific calculator and it press ang second function or sa iba, shift to. Tapos, pitutin mo yung cosine or yung cos. Cos sa calculator mo. Then, input mo yung 0.421 and equal. And yan na, lalabas na yung ating angle. 65.102 and so on. So, yan, good off na lang natin. Three decimal places ulit. So, we can say that uh, the answer here is 65.102. Again, kung wala kang makita na second function or second F sa mga calculators ninyo, pwede yung shift. Okay, shift yung hanapin ninyo. Okay, pareho lang sila. So, ganun. So, pagkakukuha tayo ng angle, gagamit tayo ng second function on a shift. Okay? kung i-convert natin yung decimal form into degrees, minutes, or seconds form. So, katulad nung example natin kanina, yung cosine theta is equal to 0.421. I-convert natin to into degrees, minutes, and sec second form. So, paano natin to magagawa? Gamit ulit ang ating calculator, i-press natin yung second function cosine, yung 0.421. So, di ba nagawa na natin ito kanina sa number 2? Then, equal. So, pag na-equal na, pindutin mo tong degree, minute, seconds. Pag pinindot mo yan, ito na yung answer natin. 65 degrees and 6 minutes and 8.144 seconds. I round off lang natin ito nearest minute. So, minute lang muna yung kunin natin. So, 65 degrees and 6 minutes. But take note of this, when the second part of the angle measure is 30 or more, say for example 24 degrees and 16 minutes, then 43.01 seconds, so nakikita ninyo yung seconds natin dito is mahigit na siya sa 30. 43 na siya, 43 seconds na. Alam naman natin na ang kalahati ng isang minuto ay 30 seconds. So pag lumagpas na sa 30 seconds, like this, 43 seconds na, pwede na nating i-round off up to the next minute. So dito, kung i-round off natin to, magiging 24 degrees, then 17 minutes. Okay? So, naging 17 minutes kasi lumagpas sa 30 yung ating seconds. So dito, makikita natin na hindi naman lumagpas sa 30, 8 seconds lang. Kaya, 65 degrees and 6 minutes lang. Pero kung lalagpas to sa 30, magiging 7 minutes to. Okay? Right? So, nakita na natin kung paano magagamit yung scientific calculator natin sa pagkuha ng trigonometric ratio and pagkuha ng angle, pagkatapos pagkukonvert into degrees, minutes, and seconds form. Now, paano na naman kung maghahanap na tayo ng missing parts of our right triangle? Let's see. Bago tayo maghanap ng missing parts of our right triangle, i-review lang natin ulit yung ating trigonometric ratios na napag-usapan ng nakaraang video lesson natin, yung sine, cosine, and tangent. Kahit ito na lang yung tandaan ninyo kasi madali na lang naman, basta alam nyo yung mga reciprocal nila. So kahit yung sokatowa na lang. So yung sokatowa is sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent 
opposite over adjacent. So, kailangan natin tandaan to sa pagsusob ng missing parts of our right triangle. So, let's see. So, given the right triangle B, T, where angle A is a right angle, find angle B and angle T. So, ito yung ating given, o yung right triangle B, E, T natin. Then, meron tayong given na hypotenuse and one leg. Pagkatapos, ang hanapin natin is yung mga angle, which is yung angle B and angle T. So, ang hypotenuse natin is 15, ito yun, and yung isang leg natin is 8. So, paano natin makukuha yung angle B and angle T? Unahin natin yung angle B. Okay, now from the given, yung B is the opposite to angle B. Opposite side nitong angle B natin is itong 8. Pagkatapos, yung E is the hypotenuse. So, opposite and hypotenuse. Ngayon, i-review natin sa Sokatoa or sa trigonometric ratios natin, alin dito sa tatlo ang gumagamit ng opposite and then hypotenuse. So, makikita natin na ang gagamitin natin dito since given ang opposite and hypotenuse side is yung sine. Okay, so, so, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So, compute na natin. So, opposite, ano yung opposite nitong angle B? Is 8. Then, yung hypotenuse niya is 15. So, i-substitute lang natin, 8 over 15. Pagkatapos, pindutin na natin to sa ating calculator. Okay? Para makuha natin yung kanyang angle. So, paano yun? Pindutin na natin to sa ating calculator. So, 8 over 15. Pagkatapos, pindutin natin yung uh, shift then sign. So, makukuha na natin itong angle na to. 32.231 degrees. Kung gusto natin i-transform into nearest minute, so pindutin lang natin yung degree minute seconds, not button. So, ito na yung magiging answer natin. 32 degrees and 14 minutes. Next, how about yung angle T? Angle T naman ang hanapin natin. So, tignan natin yung B Dito sa angle T is adjacent. Tapos yung E is the hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse, ang gagamitin natin is K. Kasi K is adjacent over hypotenuse or cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So substitute natin yung mga value. So ang adjacent natin is 8 over 15. So divide mo lang yung 8 over 15. Then pindutin mo yung second degree. Uh, pindutin mo yung second function or shift then cost. Ito yung lalabas. 57.769 degrees. Tapos, convert natin into nearest minute. So, pindutin lang natin yung degree minute seconds. So, we have 57 degree and 46 minutes. Now, let's have our V math play. So, ready na ba? First question. What is the value of sine 48 degrees? Is it A, 0 0.743, B, 0 0.742, C, 0 0.744, and D, 0 0.745? So, timer starts now. Lumabas the answer. Okay, the answer is 0 0.743. Number 2, which value of theta will satisfy this is the equation? Sine theta is equal to 0 0.307. So, timer starts now. Okay, time is up. So, again, angle ang kinukuha natin dito. So, mag-shift tayo dito. Shift sign. Then, pindutin natin yung 0 0.307. Then, convert natin into degree minute seconds form. So, answer is 70 degrees and 53 minutes. Next, which which is the correct conversion of 36.371 degrees to the nearest minute? So, dito, hindi na kailangan mag-second uh, function or mag-shift kasi meron na tayong 
degree o naka-degree na to. So, pindutin mo na lang. Pagka pindutin mo yung 36.371 sa calculator mo, pindutin mo na lang yung degree minute second. So, huwag ka na mag-shift or second function. Ang lalabas ni answer, sige, so let's begin with the 10 second timer. So, our answer here is letter Okay, letter C. So, 36 degrees, 22 minutes. So, that's it for our today's lesson. So, what's your score? Did you get a perfect score? 3 out of 3? Okay, so I hope so. And that's it for today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching this video lesson. And I hope that you learned from this video. So don't forget to like this and share this to your classmates and friends para mas marami pang mga students ang magmahal ng mathematics. You can follow me on my Facebook page, the Teach channel. And if you have any questions regarding this topic, you can send me a message there. Okay, see you again on our next lesson. Goodbye!